CO2 comes up from, I think it's about 1,200 metres down, don't quote me on that. Um, and, but because it's natural source, we have to do a lot of cleaning up. So we take it up through this system here where we filter out water, and there's also a hydrocarbon wax that comes out too that needs to be cleaned out. Um, this is all set up to be extremely safe. So we have gas detectors for methane and CO2. Um, and an emergency shut-off system, that's the big red thing there, um, and that's activated by nitrogen. So if there's any drop in pressure or any smoke or gas is detected, the whole system will shut down uh, automatically. Uh, the gas uh, pipeline is, is what we call heat traced, which means we keep it at a, a, a temperature. This is the green sort of insulation. Um, and what that that's there so that it doesn't ice up. If CO2 gets too cold, you get hydrates forming and, and what that does is clog up the pipeline. So we're trying to avoid that by keeping the gas at the right temperature all the way through. So the gas actually comes through the pipeline here. Now we're not actually injecting at the moment, you can't hear anything. Um, so this pipeline is all filled with nitrogen at the moment, that's an inert gas. The air is 72% nitrogen or thereabouts. Um, so this is all sort of shut down and ready for our next stage of research at the moment. You see here amongst all these complicated pipes, a bit more water gets knocked out here. And when we start up again, we have to get the CO2 up to a certain temperature. If it's not warm enough, this is a, a water bath heater and the gas gets heated up through here so that it's the right temperature when it goes into the compressor shed. Uh, that's the control room behind us in that big container there. And what you'll notice is that everything is on what we call a skid so that it can all be dismantled, picked up on a forklift and put on a truck and taken away. When we're finished here, this will all be remediated and it'll just be paddock again. We'll clean it right up, you'll never know it was quiet. Um, in a big CCS commercial system, you would probably have banks of much bigger compressors than this. So this looks pretty big, but it's only for our little research project. If it was a big commercial concern, it would be considerably bigger. Um, and if you're piping CO2 a fair few distances, you a fair distance, you have to keep it compressed, and you might have sort of compressors at various stages along the pipeline. So if you're sending it 50 kilometres away to the right storage area, you might have um, compressor stations along that pipeline. So that's that. Any questions about... Any